I'm not thinking about swapping anything out on this guitar. I'm not thinking about swapping anything out on this guitar. I'm not thinking about swapping anything out. Uh, <laughs> you caught me. There is actually one change that I would desperately like to make to the Johnny Marr model. Uh, it is not a big change. It's not going to have a sweeping effect on the tonality of the guitar. It's not a setup thing. It's a quality of life change, huh? Here we are at the workbench. We got the Johnny Marr all set up and ready to go. And there is but one thing that I really, really want to change about this guitar. And that is this plate. It's not that I want to add other Jaguar controls. I actually quite like the four-way switch. I'm going to keep it that way, but I got to be honest, I absolutely cannot abide the knuckle-busting position of this switch. What I mean, and this is not a criticism, I simply find this orientation of the switch to be incredibly uncomfortable. If I strum too hard, I'm going to hit it. Um, I found this to be the case on those Chicago Music Exchange Jazz Masters, on the, uh, what, what's that, what's that stupid thing? The Jag Strat? It was a, a melding of a Jaguar and a Stratocaster, which I thought kind of failed at both, but it had the switch in this exact same orientation, and so I found them incredibly difficult to play comfortably. You know me, I like to dig in, I like to have a good time as I hammer away at my guitars. Uh, I like to have maximum clearance away from the switch for my rather ham-fisted approach to the guitar. So we're going to change this switch plate out with what is known as a Ronsky plate. Now the Ronsky plate, so named after Dave Ronsky, the incredible surf guitarist from the band Slacktone. Please do yourself a favor and check them out. It will change your life. But this plate is named after Dave because, well, I'm not exactly sure if he developed this, if this is his original idea. All I know is that Dave has this style of plate on just about every Jaguar he owns. And the Ronsky plate changes the orientation of a switch to an angle instead of the parallel with the strings approach that the Mar plate provides. This is fine. The Mar plate does its job great, but you know what? I, I just know, I just know that if I keep this guitar in my stable, I am gonna grow to hate this. It's really gonna harsh my vibe. Uh, like I said earlier, it really hurts my knuckles if I happen to hit it. So I know for a fact that the Ronsky plate is gonna work out for me. So thankfully it's only four screws to change out and it's a really easy procedure. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we're gonna marvel at the beauty of an angled blade switch. All I really need is a screwdriver. And this, boy, this will improve my joy exponentially. Oh, you know what? It's been ages since I worked on a Strat switch, but I have just realized that I needed to remove the tip, this chrome tip. It is plastic, not metal. Now this plate looks like it was made by Faction Electric. Faction is a great place to get cool guitar hardware. Now there's gonna be one little trick to this, and I think some of you may have already guessed, is that I didn't bother to check that this orientation was gonna fit in the route before I started filming this video. So we're all gonna learn something together. Faction Electric offers a ton of really interesting variations on the many plates that you'll find on a Jaguar. Um, base six is two, so you can, you can get pretty much anything you want on a plate. You can get a Jag rhythm circuit switch with rollers and two switches, uh, with Mustang sliders instead, all kinds of stuff. They do things in batches, so you may have to wait a little bit until they do a full run, but uh, the work is excellent. Anyway, let's find out if my great video idea grinds to a halt right here. And actually, I think we're gonna be okay it's just that the faction plate is just a little bit wider than the stock. I'm just gonna modify this faction plate a little bit. Um, I got a Dremel. I'll just use a Dremel. I should have checked. They always say you gotta check. Love this. How's your Friday? Is that enough yet? Is that enough? Is that enough? Is that enough? Yes, we did it. And happily, it does appear that the switch is gonna fit in the route in this orientation. I'm gonna pop this out real quick if I can. 
just to show you, the MAR route is indeed modified from a standard Jaguar. You can see these little channels cut out to accept the sides of the switch. But yeah, in this orientation, it does appear that it's going to be okay. And that makes me extraordinarily happy because Lord knows I already didn't plan for the amount of work <laughs> that this is going to take. But that's okay because plates sometimes don't fit. There's always a little bit of uh, wiggle room with Jaguars especially. And we're just going to pop the mounting screws back in. And they seem to be lining up just fine or well enough for my tastes. Pop the switch tip back on. Oh, that's so much better. I know that this might seem a worse orientation for accidentally switching it, and that is a valid concern. However, for me, all of my guitars have the switches in that orientation. All of my jazz masters have the toggle switch in a way. When I'm strumming, I can switch pickups rather easily if I need to. knock it into bridge when I want to, rather than having to go this way. This is a much more laborious process for me, but this orientation feels much more natural to me. So I'm gonna call this a success. That really is the only thing that I, I, I desperately needed to change about the Mar. Although I've got, I've got a Spitfire Mint Guard here that might that uh, might do the trick for me a little bit better because this white guard is extraordinarily white. <laughs> it looks so weird to me. But, uh, you know, I'm going to give it a shot and uh, maybe we'll end up putting this mint on here. I think that might look a lot better. Well, I'm going to get back to my Friday night. But before I go, let me say I hope you're taking care of yourselves and each other. I hope you're having fun with the guitars and I'll see you in the next video.